Welcome back to Blue Jay Bonsai. It was my birthday a few weeks ago. So today we're going to take a look at everything bonsai related that I got for my birthday. And yes, I do know Anders, I am spoiled. First up, and first because it was the very first birthday gift I got this year, is this fabulous big forest pot. It's a mica pot and it's from my great friend Vince. He brought it back from a recent trip to the States. Next up is this cool little shari knife. At least that's what I'm going to use it for. As well as a whole set of little chisels perfect for carving grooves into your dead wood. And here's a little sneak peek at me working on a tree with one of the carving chisels. Next, I got this amazing Japanese U. I saw wood recently on Yella's channel. And so I added it to my birthday wish list. And here is my first present from Nigel Saunders. Gee, I wonder what it could be. That's right. It's a pair of blue Crocs. Nigel is slowly spreading the cult of Crocs across Canada. They're quite cozy and really quiet. I think I could actually sneak up on the cat wearing these. Thank you, Nigel. Next is this little blue pot also from Nigel. I'm guessing he gave it to me because it's blue. Isn't it easy to get people presents when they have a favorite color? <laughs> Next up is this little black bonsai pot. If you look really closely, you can see that it was actually made by Eldon, one of the original founders of the KW Bonsai Society. This is an amazing piece of history. And Nigel, thank you so much. I've always wanted an Elden pot, so I really appreciate it. And next up, also from Nigel, is this really cool tie pot. I've seen these advertised online. They have all the features of a root maker pot with many holes, and as well, they have all these knobs that you can use to attach guy wires to. Really cool. Thanks, Nigel. Vince and I were recently at our friend Chris's, another Toronto Club member, and he gave me this little solanum, or nightshade. I'm not sure if it's a purple nightshade or a blue witch nightshade, but either way, I'm gonna count this as a birthday present, since he did give it to me right around the time of my birthday. I can't wait until mine starts to look like Chris's, which you see here.
opposite of uh, what I normally would use wire for. Of course, it's not show quality wiring. It's really just to get them set in the right direction. I use some of the, what I think is miniature sedum that I got from Nigel. I have a whole uh, tray planted now and growing successfully. And some stones I got from the aquarium shop to sort of create a rocky trail. And here is the second bonsai stand that Matt gave me for my birthday. I just love the black color with the reddish highlight of the accent wood. It's just a beautiful piece, well made, excellent design. Thank you so much, Matt. I really love it. And here is my Fukian, what I call the spooky Fukian, on the stand. Uh, this is what we had discussed with Nigel originally. I'm not sure. The stand might be a little too big, uh, actually. It's not bad if you add an accessory plant, although I, I don't think that this is the accessory plant for it. And actually, this is something I just uh, put together recently, uh, actually using the Elden Pot I got from Nigel. I saw these little Calendiva divas <laughs> and, uh, and picked one up recently at Valley View. Since I have the Spooky Fukian out, I'm gonna do a little bit of show prep. I removed a little bit of the top layer of my old substrate. Uh, it had lost most of the perlite and was getting a little compacted. So I've added in some of the bonsai supply soil. And next I'm taking some uh, shredded sphagnum moss to make a top dressing. Once I have everything in place, I just missed everything. Trying not to use a strong watering setting as I didn't want the fine particles of moss to, to blow away. I have two trays of moss here. Both of them were collected in different locations. The larger collection of moss is sidewalk moss from a new spot that I found in the neighborhood. Maybe I'll tell Vince where it is, maybe I won't. It actually comes from between some cobblestones, which is why it has a very wide, long, uh, sort of rectangular shape. And when you collect it, if you don't initially uh, trim off the uh, excess soil on the bottom, you need to do that before you actually pot it up. So although it's aesthetically better to use smaller pieces. I'm a little bit lazy here and I'm using a bit larger pieces because uh, it just fits so nicely around the edge of the pot with the longer strips. And I use my handy tweezers uh, to pick out uh, anything that's out of place. Now this is actually some sphagnum moss, um, live sphagnum moss that I collected on the KW Bonsai Yamadori trip. So we're gonna use a bit of this to Add some variety to the moss. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle, uh, finding pieces to fit and finding other pieces to fit in between. And once again, I'm trying to use moss, going back and forth between the two different, uh, let's say, types of moss I have. Now, in retrospect, even though they were collected in different areas, um, as I look at it now, it looks very similar. So I am gonna try and uh, get out and uh, find another moss, hopefully maybe a little bit of silver in it, um, just so that we have a bit more uh, variety in the moss. And now we jump ahead to the finished product. I sh probably should have scrubbed this off first, but hey, better late than never. So I think everything's looking pretty well. I mean, especially in terms of moss. So although I am happy with the moss, 
I'm not so happy with this side of the tree. Uh, I do have this deadwood up here, which of course it's probably not going to last uh, on a Fukian. And I find it's just making the top look a little too square. So let's get in close here and you can see I'm looking for an actual branch farther back to where I can cut it. And there's actually a, a long section there with no other branches. So we have to go all the way back here. And I leave a little bit of room for die back. And off it comes. Hmm, maybe it could make a nice cutting. And since I'm at it, there's a few other spots of branches that have died off and I'm just going to go ahead and clean those up. Oh, that means it's time for a pretty pathetic carnage cam, but at least it's a carnage cam. So at this point, I am all done for today. This is where I'm going to leave things. So we're just going to mist the moss, make sure it stays nice and moist. And here's my little Fukian inside under the grow lights. I'm gonna keep it protected for a little bit as the temperature lately has been kind of up and down. And now it's time for subscribers picks. If you'd like to see your photos of your trees, bonsai or pre bonsai on the channel, then send us an email with your name, the name and species of your tree and any other interesting information. Ben sent us these pictures of his blue spruce. really like it from this angle. Is that the front bend? Let us know. Candace from Bonsai Science sent us these progression pictures of her Dawn Redwood Forest. Yes, the same one you just saw on her channel in the show. fan of Game of Thrones, there's Daenerys and her dragon. <laughs> Amazing job, Candace. I can see why everyone loves this. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next episode.